Hi Virgo, welcome to your mid-month October reading. I'll begin right away with a general tarot, then I'll clarify that reading with another deck, and I'll finish out the video for you with an oracle card. All right, let's see what is going on for Virgo for mid-October. Remember, these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone. Always trust your intuition. Okay, this card, Nine of Voices. All right, this is a new deck. The Muse Tarot by Chris Ann. So this is your vibe for mid-October. I feel like you're almost finished a cycle. You've really started to use your authentic voice and you're starting to see the results of this. Page of Emotions, yes. Your heart is also starting to open. You've had this epiphany, you've had this heart space moment, and together with the Nine of Voices, I feel like you're going to be moving into a more authentic heart emotional space. <laughs> I just keep saying that over and over. So I guess that's the message. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, getting out of the nine of voices, nine of air, that's having sleepless nights, anxiety. So outside influences, the world comes out with the chariot. Yes going to move my screen zoom here. Here we go. Okay. Let's keep going. So the world comes up with a chariot. I feel like there's definitely travel coming in your future. These two together always means movement. If you cannot travel at this time, it is planning for this moment. And seeing how you can manifest that for yourself. That could be part of the anxiety with the nine of voices, I'm feeling. Wanting to move within the world and then feeling restricted within that vibe. Totally feel that. Seven of voices, all right. Again, with that air, with the seven, this card can be about A little bit sneaky. There could be some backstabbing happening within your life and that could have been part of the lesson. Unfortunately there. With the seven of voices. One more card to clarify this. What is up? Five of materials. Yeah, these two together. I'm not liking it. Five of materials, five of pentacles, is feeling poverty mentality, feeling left out in the cold. And these two together, I feel like there was some backstabbing that happened, that happened, <laughs> or could be happening. Maybe that's why I couldn't finish saying that. So be aware. You might already know what happened and now you're recovering from it. That could have been part of this nine of voices. And as you're healing, you're moving into this page of emotions, opening up the heart space again, becoming inspired again too. Okay. Wow. Death card. Death rebirth for you, Virgo, for the end of October. Death of the ego always with the chariot there. I like that together. It means you're in control of this death rebirth moment. You're taking control and knowing that your ego isn't worth blocking you from your dreams. Wow, 10 of emotions. I love that. So if this is a love reading for you, your person sees you as being their fulfillment and almost 
I want to say content. So there is this feeling of contentment with this connection. Just drop some cards here. Okay. Ace of materials. Wow, I love this. So your intention for the end of October is to start building up the coins, building up the pentacles. <laughs> There's a fly on the crystal that's hilarious. Just wants that vibe, I guess. <laughs> and the magician. So this is knowing you can create your own reality. That is the intention. You want to start this new cycle of coins and materials. And you know that you can do this now. Mm, it feels very empowering. It feels very positive. Loving that for you. Okay, let's see. Message from the universe for Virgo. These two. Knight of materials. Wow. Knight of pentacles. I love this card. I'm still getting used to this deck, so I might be speechless and just staring for a little <laughs> too long. But Knight of Pentacles is about earthing. It's about moving forward with your vision and actually seeing real coins in your life. And yeah, page of materials again, these two together. See the roses. Your abundance is growing and things are moving. Wow, these two are so beautiful together. I feel this. That's a really nice positive message for you moving into November too, I'm feeling. Page of materials, night of materials. I'm also feeling it could be a couple too. If you're looking for romance, that's a nice sign coming in. It's a little bit of a younger energy on both of your parts, so not something to be taking too seriously too fast, I'm feeling. Okay, let's clarify. What is going on with this seven of voices, five of materials for Virgo? Page of Cups. Wow. So that's the second one that does clarify what's going on. You are becoming inspired again after a period of anxiety, possibly depression, and it's a great feeling. You're feeling like almost you want to say thank you, <laughs> thank God for that, whatever the higher power is for you, you want to thank them. <laughs> because you notice the difference, you, you're seeing the difference and feeling the difference, especially with the cups, the two cups. Feeling those emotions come up, it's important. Okay, let's clarify again. And the tower, wow. So there was a betrayal, there was this tower moment for you. And it was intense, it was hectic, and you really had to dig deep to get through it, I'm feeling, this whole vibe. Wow. Let's put an amethyst there. Clearing that out, moving forward into this new cycle for you, and becoming the magician again. New cycle happening with the Ace of Materials and the Magician. Not to worry about that tower anymore. Okay, let's clarify the Death card and the Ten of Emotions. This is a love reading for you. What is happening? Wow, Ten of Wands. So you're walking away. You're ending a cycle. There was a death of some type of relationship, an ending of a relationship, I should say. And now you're able to embrace this new Ten of Emotions, this new cycle could also be, I'm feeling, it's just an ending of a, of a relationship. 
because you want to focus more on your work and on your coins before you move into something. Again, I'm feeling... Yes. That's not a bad thing because the love is coming here. The coin is coming as well as this cute vibe relationship I'm feeling beside the magician and the ace of wine, wands flies out. So there will definitely be a new cycle of love and of fire for you. Not to worry about that if you are feeling the stress of the ten of wands flying in. It's nice to know that walking away was the right decision so that you can begin again. That was the epiphany. That was the lesson. If it's not a love reading for you, it's walking away from something in your life. Seeing this tower moment for what it was and being able to have the strength to move forward with the chariot and see it for what it really was with the world here. Okay, Oracle card for Virgo. This is also vice versa. So you could be walking away or someone could be walking away from you. But I feel like it's more you're walking away. You're moving away from something. Okay, this one. Wow, wings of light becoming something new. This came up for Libra, I believe. As the Oracle card, so you might want to check out that reading. Wow. Becoming something new. This is the whole vibe for October, I guess. Number 42. Yeah, moving into this new direction. Starting this new cycle for yourself, I feel like. And then building up this whole earth vibe, this whole earth energy, which is your energy, so it feels natural. Feels like it's going to be really powerful for you. I love this. I feel like this is a good place to end the reading, Virgo. I hope you found some clarity from this one. Enjoy the rest of October. Hope to see you for the November monthlies. Bye for now.